welcome to my kitchen laboratory where today we are doing a really cool experiment. I've actually never done it before. I've seen it for a long time and I've never done it. And today's the day we're giving it a try. It is called the Exploding Snowman. This is gonna be really exciting. And we're actually going to try it two different ways today. So we're gonna see which way works better and then whichever one you like better you can try at home so you're going to need a sandwich bag and then you take some permanent markers now be careful with permanent markers kids grown ups make sure you wash them while they do that but you want to draw a face on your bag and not just any face a snowman face okay and then you're going to need about one to two cups of vinegar which i already have mine here ready to go and you're going to need about three teaspoons of baking soda. And you're going to need a piece of paper towel to wrap the baking soda in. So let's start this experiment and see how it goes because our hands need to be working pretty fast for this experiment to work. So the first way we're going to try this experiment is to put the baking soda in the bag first. So you'll want to get three teaspoons of baking soda and put it right on your paper towel. There's one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside and then we're just gonna gently wrap that up in the paper towel and you'll just wanna set it right inside of your snowman bag, okay? There we go. There's our snowman. Aw, so cute. Okay, now here is where we have to work fast. We're gonna pour the vinegar right into the bag, but grown-ups, this is where you come in. You need to close the bag really quickly because the explosion is gonna happen. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know how much the bag is going to explode, like if it's actually gonna pop open and stuff's gonna burst out, or if it'll just inflate. I don't know, it'll be a surprise to all of us, but Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I didn't pour all of it in there. I chickened out, guys. I chickened out. Oh, there it goes. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Woo, that's fun. <laughs> Oh, it ripped over here. Ha! Huh. That's really cool. Okay, I'm sorry I chickened out, guys. I didn't pour all of the vinegar in. <laughs> I wanted to close it before it popped. Okay, so that was the way with the or with the baking soda first. Let's try it a second way where we do the vinegar first and then the baking soda. Okay, friends, let's try the other way. So first, I'm just gonna get my baking soda ready on the side here. So again, we're gonna need three teaspoons. One, two, three. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside, roll it up a little bit, and just set it aside for now. Boop. Okay, because this time we're going to do the vinegar first. I'm going to kneel down so we can see. Okay. So, this time I won't chicken out with the vinegar because it's going in first. Okay. Vinegar is in there. That seems like a lot, but okay. So now, here's the cool part about this one. I don't have to go as fast. If I take my hand and just hold it, don't let it touch the vinegar, and zip it up. <laughs> this is so tricky. Kids, you can help your parent or whoever's doing this with you, you can help them hold it. I wish I had a third hand here, that would help. Okay, let's see. So kids, you can help hold. Hold that paper towel in there for doing it this way. Okay, all right. Oh, I did it, okay. This is exciting, okay, here we go. So, 
I'm gonna just let go of the paper towel with the baking soda and it's gonna just fall into the vinegar and we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Let's see what's happening. Oh. Okay. It's slowly inflating. I must say, this way is not as cool as the other way. There has been no explosion. And I'm gonna help it. Oh, wait, there it goes. Oh, maybe, maybe I should put my face this close. Oh, wait, oh, it's going. Oh, it's also leaking out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Getting paper towels ready, just in case. I don't know if it's gonna explode, you guys. It's all puffy. Oh, and now it's starting to go down a bit. There is a little hole right there. Oh, and now it's sliding away because vinegar spilled. This is fun. I'm, oh, it might pop soon. Is it gonna pop? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh, no explosion this time. Well, if you want to try it both ways at home, feel free. See what happens. Looks like when you put the baking soda in first and then the vinegar, it explodes more. Interesting. It's like a pillow and it's sliding around. <laughs> it's sliding because vinegar spilled out of it. Fun. Ooh. <laughs> okay, apparently shaking it helps it pop. I ended up doing the experiment a third time, so check out how that experiment went. Here we go. I'm a little nervous, friends. I'm gonna have to be really fast here and pour all this vinegar in there and then close it up really quick. And actually, you know what? I think to save myself some time, I'm gonna close it about halfway, just so it's ready to go. And I wanna just try to pour it into this little side here so it's less to close. So here we go. <laughs> Five, four. Do you think this is gonna explode a lot? Do you think it's gonna get all over me and all over my kitchen? It might. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I just fell all over. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Miss Mary, hurry up. Close it, there we go, I closed it. Let's see what happens. Is it gonna pop? <laughs> it's getting bigger. Can you see it? Oh, oh, it's sliding across in the vinegar. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for it to pop. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Ooh. Aww. It's so cute. Look at the big giant snowman. Oh, it's fizzing more since I moved it. More vinegar is getting in there. Do you think it's gonna explode? Oh, it's standing up by itself now. That's exciting. Is it gonna explode?
paper all over the place. Okay, experiment is done. Good job. Well, kids, that was really a lot of fun with that exploding snowman. I am really glad I tried that, and I think I found a new experiment that I would love to try over and over again. And you know what? You can change it for others, holidays and seasons, or just whatever you want to draw in there. You don't just have to make a snowman on there. If you draw a heart on there for Valentine's Day, it can be exploding Valentine. Have fun, draw whatever you want on there next time. And I will suggest that when you try this at home, make sure you put it on a tray so that it collects whatever vinegar explodes. And have fun and be safe.